the breed is a New Zealand Californian. Uh, I've been doing their food. They've been doing pretty good on it. Uh, that's about two inches down in the two days. That's what they've eaten for two rabbits, so they're doing really good with that. They figured out the water system really good. I uh, put a stick in there and just uh, let them see the water dripping, and they would go over and kind of just drink off of the stick. Finally, one of them grabbed the stick and uh, pulled it out, and then they went over and started chewing it. And once one of them figures it out, they pretty much all can figure it out. The little baskets here I made are just out of some of the same wire that I made the cages out of. And uh, I got Timothy in it right now, but they're just making kind of a mess with it. I'll get some alfalfa and put in it. So, and another thing on the uh, tubing here, we took and I painted it with that silver paint. It's still sticky. The other is kind of dried. The, the brown up there dried really well. But let me show you the watering system and there's how much water still left in it and that's after leaving it that stick in there for about two hours dripping water so it's doing pretty good but there's one of them drinking right now i mean they figure it out pretty quick we only got them sunday and it took them a couple of days to figure it out and you can see one's drinking on the other side but they've learned just to go up to it and just kind of chew on it and it they get the water out of it. But yeah, uh, it's funny both of them drinking at the same time when I'm talking about it. But yeah, that's got them done. And uh, if you get the uh, little feeders, I would get the ones with the sifted bottom. So when you put feed in them, a lot of that dust, well, you can see some right there is kind of fell. The dust comes out of the bottom instead of going up into their lungs. So. Yeah, they, they get right there and they sit there and chew on it until they get enough of water and then they they move off and usually the other two will go on. But there's the rabbits and I'll make an update. I think we got all girls. Uh, I'm going to try to find a boy. We're going to make sure these, all, these are all girls first because the lady still has, uh, she's using our boy to get uh, her goats pregnant, our little uh, Robert. So he's over there at their house, and uh, he'll, as soon as he gets through, uh, we'll get him back and put him in the pen up here, and we got Snowflake, and we got rid of her babies, and it's time for her to, to get pregnant again, so we'll get that done, but that's just a little update on some stuff that we're doing around here, and I got to get some little mats and put in there uh, for their feet and for them to lay on. I just hadn't went to Tractor Supply, so I may look on Amazon and see if I can find some on there and just get them shipped. The tubing that I bought, I went all the way to uh, Home Depot, got it, and I can buy it for the same price on Amazon and get it shipped to me. So I went ahead and ordered another roll of it. It should be here today, and I can finish up this little waterer right here, get it hooked in, pull it up, put a T right up there, and run it down and get it done. But yeah. Let me make a little quick trip up here to the garden. The grow bags seem like they're doing real good with the uh, tomatoes. They're already up and pretty good size. We've got squash blooming like crazy. We got grass coming in. We've had a couple of days of rain now and the grass has just went crazy. So got to get in there and do some weeding as soon as the, it quits raining again. We're supposed to have some more rain this afternoon. So. I'm not gonna it's kind of weird because you look at the ground right here and it's almost dusty and that's after having rain but now the garden's different because it was tilled but the uh, ground here is almost like it hadn't even rained so and that right in there was tilled so but anywhere it wasn't tilled the ground is so dry that it's um, it's not soaking up the water, the water's running off. So we'll hopefully we'll have another day or two of rain. Would be nice. The grapes are doing really good, but the garden, you can see in some spots we've got some pretty good sized grass in our potatoes. But there just wasn't much to do this year. We tried to keep it out and it got so dry, but 
there's the garden. Like I say, we should have plenty. Of okay, I'm up here at the uh, rabbits and the chickens are going crazy. They're laying eggs. Um, I got in here the other day and I went ahead and got the other uh, thing hooked up, the little nipple here hooked up. And uh, I went ahead and just painted it with the silver. All the rest of them are silver. Like I said, I don't touch them. Uh, you can see kind of, I didn't, I meant to hit that T right there with the brown. But you just slide them on there. Uh, that, I didn't give it a lot of a paint on it. I just barely coated it enough to kill the light, maybe for algae. And uh, I got my tank done. And you can see I put a pipe. I just drilled the hole the exact same size as the pipe and stuck it in. It's a little bit tight, not too tight. Then I just ran it around, ran it back over to that corner there. And it comes down this corner. You can't, it's, I mean, with the painted, I mean, I can, you can see it pretty good, but if you don't know it's there, it's kind of a little bit hard to see. And then it just comes out and I got it hooked to a garden hose. What I'm going to do is get me a little cutoff right here so that when I hook it up, because my hose pipe goes all the way around, it goes all the way out to that faucet way out there in the garden. And you can't see it because it's kind of behind them tomato plants there. You can see it a little bit right in there. But... That's too far to run to try and cut it on and off, so I'll get me a little cut off and put right there so I can kind of control it a little bit. But yeah, I just turned it on, or my wife did. I stood over here and uh, it's completely full. We filled it all the way to the top, so you can't, well, you can barely see where the level is there. So uh, I'll unhook this hose now. And that'll keep them watered for, uh, I'd, and with the lid on, I don't have to worry about mosquitoes because everything's closed. It's a closed system. It barely can get enough water to let the water out the nipples. So it's, I won't have to worry about mosquitoes. I'll pull it down probably maybe once every two months and clean the inside of it and just make sure that there's no, uh, you know, slimy stuff getting in it. But the rabbits, like I say, they've learned to use it really well, so. That's it. Uh, it's all hooked up, and I did paint it too. I mean, just uh, for the looks of it. But let's see if I can get a picture in here of how kind of how I ran it. It just goes over here, like I say, and goes down that post and runs right around and just follows it and goes right up. And like I say, I didn't waste any money putting a fitting up there. I just uh, took a little uni bit and kind of cut it in there, and it's the exact same size as the hose. Ho ho hose. Alright, well y'all have a good one.